Welcome back. 21 minutes after 8. Yadi Sharifirad, uh, a former Iranian air fighter pilot and now an author, is in with me this morning. His book, The Flight of the Patriot, Escape from Revolutionary Iran. And Yadi, in the commercial break, I said to you, this book reads like fiction, but it's not. This is your life story. Uh, that's true. This life story is real. It's very accurate. And uh, so uh, gradually I got them done. It took me a little bit of time to put them together, but fortunately it came uh, very well. Now this is your second book. Your first book uh, was made into a movie and you were basically a hero in Iran. Uh, you were a fighter pilot, you were shot down uh, in enemy territory, made an escape, um, and came back uh, as, as a martyr, uh, a living martyr in, in your country. Um, so from that point you must have, uh, t take us from that point on and tell us what happened. Well, normally, you know, when uh, the things, uh, my crash was a little bit different from the others. Uh, there was no similarity because I crashed in the in, in, in Iraqi territory, mm -hmm. and we call it enemy's territory, mm -hmm. and 80 miles almost uh, far from the border. But I was lucky because I was uh, saved by Turkish, I mean, Kurdish rebel, and they looked after me for uh, almost a month. And in the mind of my family and friends, I was dead and gone. Uh, when I got back and uh, alive, of course, it was something different. Uh, filmmakers come after they want to make a movie of it. I, I think because of that. And plus, of course, uh, I had uh, many done many missions, and uh, I was a kind of uh, encouraging. Uh, body of other pilots too. Absolutely, so a hero in your country, that's, for sure. That's, that's in, in, in one way, yeah. And then, of course, uh, I wrote and I met uh, a president in that time, uh, Mr. Banisad and also Ayatollah Khomeini. And then when I wrote my book, before even it becomes a book, and they start uh, in a series, put them in the magazines, and one producer came and said he loves the story and he wants to make a movie of it. So. It, it took time. By the time um, they were working to make a movie, I was assigned to go to Pakistan as a military attache. It was a prestigious job, and uh, I was not in Iran to 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 celebrate uh, and uh, see the movie myself. Mm -hmm. When I got back, of course, they sent me a copy of it. Uh, yeah, it was uh, it was great. So here you are, uh, a hero, uh, the star of this movie, uh, working at a prestigious job as a military attaché, on your way to work one morning, and you're arrested and put in jail uh, under suspicion of spying. What happened then? Well, uh, I, I was abducted, as a matter of fact. I, I couldn't believe. I, I was uh, pretty sure it, it, there is some mistake. And uh, they are coming to apologize, and they let me go. But, uh, but they didn't come. And they didn't. They didn't. And I, day after day, and then, uh, I don't know, a few days, I think they didn't let me to sleep. And then they start uh, interrogating me. Uh, and I realized, no, it's, it's, uh, I'm, I'm to stay here. Uh, of course, uh, that was usual to arrest pilots, and uh, they disappeared. And uh, finally, we noticed that they killed them. I was a little bit worried, but inside of, um, in, in my heart, I was thinking, no, no, it is not going to happen to me. Well, a little bit worried. You walked out at one point with yeah. two other people in your same situation and basically watched them be hanged for their suspicions about their crimes until you finally stood up and, and what happened then? Yeah, well, that was after almost, I can say, four or five months after being under torture and then finally they decided to kill me and uh, uh, one morning, of course, every day something happens. You don't know what they are going to do the next. Uh, just they, they grabbed me and they took me under the gallows and uh, only they showed me to others uh, on the rope on their neck and uh, I, I saw them. They took my blindfold out to, to, to let me see that they, 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 want, to you. they want to show me really, yeah, it's, it's real, it's, mm -hmm. it's, you are the next. And uh, that was the place, and uh, I screamed, and I said, uh, at least I have a right to be executed by, by firing squad. I am a military man, I am an officer. If, uh, at least give me the right uh, to, to, to do that to me. 
And then they said one more night. You can imagine one one more night mm -hmm. means means what? Uh, so uh, and I talked a lot, and that was the point. And I said, uh, if I get a chance uh, to get uh, free and uh, go out again. I'm going to write my story, mm -hmm. and I'm going to send this message to the whole world, not only to the Iranian, and uh, reveal all of the things that's happening in this prison by the name of God, and they say Allah, uh, that I last believe on them at all, and then the well, rest of the story. I don't, I don't want to give away the rest of the story. Obviously, you managed to escape. You mm -hmm. got your family out of Iran and then for, was away from them for three years, managed to join them uh, here in Canada and, and get your, your story down on paper. Well, it, it was difficult, and I, uh, I, it was difficult even thinking, uh, asking myself, uh, 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 am I able to see them again or not? Every day they were in my mind. Everywhere I went, they were with me. And it was sad. Uh, also, uh, most of the time, I, I could notice the shadow behind me. But one day I decided, well, I can't resist anymore. And uh, I, I put my life for the country, but they didn't appreciate. But my family had the right. I do it for them. And I put all of my life in danger. And I decided to go just close the curtain, leave my car whatever I had behind with one bag and one camera with me mm -hmm. and left the country and uh, through the mountain and came to Turkey. And that in itself is an amazing journey. So yeah. just really incredible. An honor to meet you. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, the book, once again, The Flight of the Patriots, uh, Yadi Sharifidad. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. All right. Quick break for us. We're back in a minute. Stay with us.